Use my coupon code FRESH7 to get 5% off your overall purchase with Cinch Gaming Equipment. Hey guys, what is up? Fresh Ninja here. Just want to apologize that I had not gotten this guide out sooner. Um, Radiant's a mess. It's really hard to figure out. Um, but I did figure out just the basic stuff on how to get your map started. Um, so anyways, I'm not going to be rambling off too much. So um, basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to go into Mod Launcher, how to create your map, and then how to open how to open Radiance with that map, um, and uh, just start adding basic stuff to your uh, to your map in Radiant. Um, so, anyways, guys, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing you want to do is open up Black Ops Three Mod Tools, and when you do that, the first thing that's going to come up is a Black Ops Three Mod Tools launcher. All this is is this just starts you off. So, the first thing you want to do when you get to here um, is basically go to File, New. Uh, new map. So what you want? If you're making, so you're making a new zombies map. Um, so go to template, ZM mod level, um, and so, um, so first off, think of just think of anything like, just just think of a map name that it might be. So um, first off, you put ZM underscore, and then whatever your, um, whatever you decide on what your new zombies map you want it to be. So uh, I'm just gonna put like test I can't even type test one two three like that's like that's your name but before that so ZM underscore test one two three so whatever you want your map to name it's after the underscore but once you've done that all you do is okay your new map has been created it'll just it'll just have these this little uh, information window right here telling you that hey you've created a map so um, once you've done that you'll see it right here um, so once your map is created click it just click that right there just highlight like that and then click on uh, radiant and your uh, and radiant will uh, load everything um, so basically when radiant loads it starts off with a kind of pre little like a little pre-made map deal um, so this is just to basically give you a boost off of what like this just kind of starts you off so the first thing you want to do is basically here you are this is a uh, radiant so there's a lot of different controls so basically I'm just gonna tell you um, first off use your mouse you 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 hold down right click and move your mouse and you can move it you can move forward back and forth um, that's basically how you move and what you can do so you you're moving horizontal horizontal when you do that but if you right click and move around and hold control you'll move vertically so um, and then you let go and go horizontally if you press Z you look down again you look down press a to look back up basic those just basic movements so um, when you highlight something well actually I'll just skip that so the first thing you want to do um, is just let's just say I don't know um, let's just create a wall weapon so um, let's just go back here behind this wall actually you know let's go let's go behind this wall right here right behind the uh, spawn um, so the first thing you want to do is uh, basically you won't have any of these windows really open maybe some of them but because I've already used it but um, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and right click somewhere just anywhere up here right click um, and then go down there's usually the things that you'll be needing um, um, you'll be needing the entity browser um, and then the prefab browser and both of these windows will come up. Um, so um, let's make a wall weapon. Um, so I believe, yeah. So um, go to prefab browser, and um, I'm guessing it'll yeah. Favorites is basically um, either favorites or what you can do is look up ZM Core. And basically, this is your folder of all the like the power switch, um, 
and all your wall weapons and all the this things you can buy off the wall um, all the perks and pack a punch so what you want to do is basically literally let's just choose hmm, let's see here um, SMG fast fire let's just drag that here I'm gonna look down real quick okay so SMG fast fire right there so it looks like so we got the VMP here or the Vesper actually you know what um, let's go with here we go here's VMP so best weapon ever not really <laughs> I love the VMP okay let's see here so first off you can see that the chalk is not lined up directly the chalk texture isn't lined up directly uh, with the uh, wall so what you want to do it's already highlighted so all you gotta do is click and drag in the wall and as you guys can see um, the chalk texture is up against the uh, wall so um, basically now you can just kind of take it and center it and uh, there you go and to deselect and select anything you hold down shift and click so I just deselected it once again you can hold down shift click and you select it and I will say this a like a ton of times I learned this myself you'll get very frustrated if you do not unselect an item or a spawnable or anything if you do not unselect something that you've placed you cannot like you can't click you can't place anything else it's so it, it made me so mad I just I you can't so make sure whenever you want to add something else in the game or like not in the game but you want to add something else in radiant just any any new spawnable or anything you have to unselect it for example I select this VMP um, let's try to add in the Vesper you can't it you just I literally it, it just doesn't work it made me so mad all goes is it just makes this little notification sound and it I was like what's going on but unselect it and you can place it so now that net here you know what let's just do this now so let's say right here great example it's facing the wrong way all I gotta do is uh, um, press actually you can either press R and uh, R to rot uh, yeah to rotate it um, so you can either do you can either press R um, on your uh, keyboard and uh, click and drag well, like click and do that or you can literally go up and there's ZXY, so we're gonna want to pivot it um, with the Z axis. So you can literally just, let's say, go out of the R. You can literally just click the Z axis again, click it again, click it again, click it again, and you're right there. So um, basically, now what we can just do, so we can take it. Bam. There we go. Now we have. Oh, I went too far, didn't I? That's just uh, basically how to do that. So, uh, got the basic idea of wall weapons. So, alright, so we'll leave that like that. Um, alright, so now, uh, enough with the uh, um, weapons. So, um, let's go on. So we've already, I mean, we've already got the power switch here and the pack bunch, and um, these are the four perks right here. They just don't show up. It's weird. So, um, but basically, the perks are in here, uh, in the same spot where you got the uh, uh, 
wall weapons. Uh, just letting you guys know. So, um, so you got Deadshot, we got Double Tap, Juggernaug, um, Stamina Up, uh, Quick Revive, and uh, Speed Cola, and also the uh, um, Pack Punch is right there. So if if you if you mean you don't have to delete these, all you have to do is like select them and move them around but if you do want to delete them and you don't want to spend time moving around everywhere trying to get it to where you want just delete it and then click and drag that in there and there you go um, so basically that's uh, it about that um, so let's see now the next thing we're, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, uh, textures as you can see there are no textures so it looks gonna look weird when you um, start the map uh, so let's just um, what you want to do all right so right click just like how you got the entity browser in the prefab browser just right click up here and go all the way down to textures right here and a window will open up that should kind of look like this I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit bigger um, so all right here we go um, now you in your textures so basically just type in nah, don't do that um, just type in wall oh never mind I know why so if it says all in use don't do that check all then type in ground there now just choose one all I have to do so shift select double click and there you've got your uh, um, you've got your uh, texture um, so just basically just find like say if let's we want a uh, a uh, wall texture um, let's just choose con let's just do this concrete uh, um, blocks right here so literally all you just gotta do is uh, shift click double click and there you go we got a texture there shift click double click on there unselect that basically actually what you could do is just select that you can select multiple things so you can just select that select all this stuff select everything that you want that texture on there's nothing else that I can see that needs to be so all I need to do double click take that off and unselect that there you go we got uh, um, all concrete textures and we got a floor texture um, so basically there we go guys uh, that's about um, actually there are two more things um, yeah two more things I'm gonna explain uh, I will have both of these down in the description um, the uh, box prefab and the dog spawner prefab were not put in radiant with the beta version so I will leave the link in the I will leave both links in the description for this. Um, all you have to do um, is uh, uh, download these when you get the link in the description, and uh, um, once you download them, uh, when you take them into all right. So to get them into your like prefab browser in Radiant itself, open up your file explorer go to um, your Windows C drive um, uh, go to your program file or just find the steam your steam folder and program files go to uh, um, steam apps common black ops 3 go to map source prefabs and ZM as you can see I have already and their map files so I have already copied and pasted them once you download them all you gotta do is copy both of them that's basically that's that's basically it so um, once you have those added in there um, 
then once you close that out and you go into um, your prefab browser all I gotta do is ZM right there ZM core to giant right there box start map dog spawner map and those are the two prefabs you'll need to use in order to use the mystery box and dog spawner because when I first played my map I didn't I couldn't add any dogs in so every time I play I would always get stuck at round six because no dogs would spawn so that's kind of a problem so um, I found that I will leave the link in the descriptions once again uh, leave anyway I will leave the links in the description for those anyways I've said that like a billion times um, but now that you've got those in there uh, all you gotta do is basically just find just just find a place where you would want a, them to spawn um, like usually I just have them like I on mine I just had them like spawn way out here somewhere um, just go to dog spawner drag it in there it's gonna look like just the model of a dog make sure you kinda control go flat to the ground and make sure the dog is on the surface which it is alright now uh, I usually have like I had like two dogs spawners in my map so that one's flat too so now um, go ahead and select one of them what you're gonna want to do is you want to right click go to prefab and go to stamp prefab and what this will do is this basically takes you, you can you're able to it, it separates the spawner and the model from each other so um, when you take this you can drag it down under the map so you won't be able to see the physical model in game it'll literally just be nothing and then it'll spawn the dogs there so that just makes it yeah so you won't be able to see that dog just standing there in game and looking weird so uh, then we take here do the same for this one stamp that one select it and then just drag it under the map I mean you don't have to drag it under the map you can just like like if you have some sort of like building or wall you want to put your spawners behind something then all you have to do or if you just have some sort of like closed in building that you can't get into you can just like put the spawner like and, and you know just put a spawner and then you can just stamp it in where you you can just have it behind something so you can't see it um, but usually I just put under the map so there's no way in at all you can see it so um, besides that there we go we've got our dog spawners so once you get your dog spawners in there um, then all you gotta do is just uh, put your uh, um, we just spawn the box in here so we'll just take it and drag it in there and like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's facing the wrong way. So um, yeah, just so you could use either R on the key to rotate it and click and drag, or you can just click this Z right here. And what you want to make sure of is that there's going to be that little arrow you see right there. You want that to be pointing. That's that's literally that's the face of the box. It's pointing outwards, and that's what you want. Um, so once that's facing outwards, just go sideways here, match it to the floor, and just simply drag it up against the wall. And to me that looks good, and it's on the ground, and it's centered. So all you gotta do, unselect that, there we go. Um, so there we go. That's about it for this. Uh, I think so. I've basically covered. Um, uh, actually, one more thing. I will leave this link also in the description. Um, I have been really confused with zombie spawners. There are two, no, three zombie spawners already made on this little custom map deal. 
and I have no idea. I've tried so hard. I've still got to look this up. Maybe you guys can help me with this. Um, whenever I make multiple do uh, multiple zombie spawners, they spawn and they just stand there. They don't do anything. They don't come after you. They just don't do anything. They just stand there looking weird. So um, I'm still going to do some research on my own. Um, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, but besides that, um, that is about it. I um, just wanted to show you guys a couple quick things uh, before I, I forgot a couple of things. So um, just one more thing in Radiant. Uh, so if you go to your XY top, uh, um, your little XY top tab basically shows you an overhead view of your map. So if you use your mouse wheel, you can scroll um, up and out of the map um, and hold right click to move around. Um, so basically I'm just going to show you guys how to just make a wall. Um, so all you have to do is just kind of scroll around and then just left click and hold. And as you can see on my deal here, um, we just created a little, uh, little wall there. So, but once you've done that, you can just take this, move it around as you want. I'll go ahead and just leave it right there. And we did not have a texture on. Oh, actually, we did. So, because um, we had that last selected. So, um, but there you go. You just make a little, you can just make, you know, buildings with that. All you have to do is literally just drag, click and drag, left click on the XY top, and you could make, and you can make anything. So, um, that's basically it. So, uh, yeah. So, once you guys got that um, when you're done and you want to test your map out um, go to uh, file and save it'll make a little notification noise it'll just say you've done it um, so once you've done that um, close out of radiant and go back to your mods launcher uh, make sure you check you find your map and you just check that one don't check multiple maps or don't check any of these just check the one map that you named that you were editing and then go to that compile check light check link if you have a good computer I always do high um, if your computer just runs if you're I'm guessing people that play lockups or you have a good computer to play it um, but if you don't or something go medium or low this is just basic quality of the game that one you know when it renders out that's just the quality of the stuff that you've put in there so um, I always do high but you know just do select whatever um, you feel like will be necessary for your computer um, but anyways once you have that you click all these highlight all these three um, do full and then don't do any of this just click build and it'll sit here just wait a little bit and uh, um, after a little bit it'll be uh, done so alright so once uh, how you can tell that uh, your um, launcher is done uh, I didn't mean to do that uh, once you can tell how you can tell that your um, tools launcher just finished um, uh, uh, compiling your map um, it'll say linking your map name and the processing and then done sometimes it does that twice um, so let it go twice, um, but if it doesn't and you just wait a little bit after it does that and it says done, then you're done. All you gotta do, um, I just minimize that out, um, and then, uh, so I will go into, um, I'll cut into Black Ops 3, and I'll show you guys how to open up your map, and uh, we'll go ahead and test it out and see what it looks like. I'll uh, just go ahead and go into Zombies, go into Private Game, go to Change Map, and uh, there you go, you should have your uh, map name. So my map name that we just created is ZM test one, two, three. Um, this will happen, all it's doing is it's loading your mod. Uh, it'll do the little frozen forest clip deal um, for just a couple of seconds and then it'll go back into the, uh, um, into the little start thing. So um, there you go, it's loaded. And then now you can go into start game uh, you can't really do any weapon kits or there's no gobble gums so um, yeah that's should that's soon to be known so 
and here we go it's starting to work so uh, let's uh, see what this thing uh, what it looks like so there we go guys look at this it's all good so this is basically I'm gonna have to add in invisible walls I'll do that in another video so for more advanced stuff but look at that zombies are spawning pretty dang cool got the textures in there we got all the textures on there so that's looking pretty good so um, but powers here turn that on got pack punch double tap speed jug and quick revive and the box right here you can also run through it because any prefab you can run through it and uh, so you'll have to add an invisible barrier to any prefab that you make that you don't want to run through so um, now you got money mystery box works so that's pretty cool so we got, oh, we got monkeys but, uh, but yeah that's uh, that's basically it so um, yeah alright real quick we'll go ahead and, so here's an example of what I was talking about earlier see how the chalk is just kinda floating out like that that's what I kinda meant by last time but let's go ahead and, so the VMP look at that right there perfect we got our VMP wall by pretty cool so um, but alright guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did um, find this uh, um, guide uh, useful uh, please drop a like um, and uh, like I said in the you know earlier in the video, uh, leave me down you know something in the comments below um, if you know exactly why um, if you know why the uh, um, that you know about the zombie spawners if you have any idea like why they aren't like why they aren't working whenever I create one. Um, so if you can find that out, um, but I'll, you know, everything's, uh, figured out, so, um, I'm basically just rambling off, so, uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay stealthy.